This is just a really quick video on using Sims dresses on WoW characters. You need um, Sims 4 Studio, which I'll link to. You can use downloaded Sims clothes or in-game Sims clothes if you have the game. If you have the game and you want to use in-game ones, you'll click this. But if you have one you download and it should be a a dot package file you click my projects and find it that way if you do use one that you downloaded it is a really good idea to credit the person when you upload your render for this I'm going to use an in-game one but the process is basically the same you've got your filters up here so you can change those if you want and look through those And just click next. Find a place to save it. Name it something. Now I don't know if it's going to ask you if you have 2.70 of Blender. It asked me that before, but I think I installed it. I have like three versions of Blender, so you can just install it and have it set so that this this won't bother you so export this is where you export the actual texture you can pick different colors usually if it's one you download it'll have different ones up here you can click the squares this is just one because that's the only one I exported and then on the meshes tab just click export mesh this is usually where I would say you need 2.70. When you're done, you can close that, go into Blender, import your character. You would put materials on it, but I'm not going to bother with that for now. I usually open a second version of Blender and go and find that file and open it. The sim one. It's saved as a actual blend file. Sometimes sim parts and you need to join it together. That's the whole thing right there. So click it and then control C. Come over here. Control V and it'll paste it. You can get rid of these circle things. Over here on the side, chances are you need to change the pose of the actual clothing. So click this arrow on rig and move. Just like both. Move it down to where it's about the right size. Try and fit it to where you're going as best you can. Now you click the rig and switch to pose mode and click these dots and try and pose. I have to do it since it has long sleeves, but sometimes it won't even matter. So Now you go over to the modifiers and click apply because it'll have the modifier on it saying geom skin. Just click apply. 
go over to object data and this little arrow delete all groups now you can delete that rig that came with the dress and your dress will just stay like this for this you need to make sure that you've cleaned up these extra vertices so select all that go to mesh clean up delete loose if you don't whenever you data transfer it's really strange You can go ahead and put your texture on now. Hide your actual person. So I need to get rid of these white areas and the shoes of those shoes. Tab in, put your mouse over one of these, press L, and it should just select that as long as you didn't remove doubles, because if you remove doubles, sometimes this doesn't work. Mouse over reverse, you press L. You may have to do it more than once on some parts. I usually also get rid of these bottom ones, but it's not all that important. Delete for the sakes. Now you just have the dress, you can unhide your character and fit it to your character. Now if it's a drain A, you might want to get rid of the tail because sometimes that messes up the data transfer, but that's up to you. So most of the time you want to work with this one. Press O to turn on proportional editing. Find an area that you want to pull out. Make sure you scroll down to make this circle smaller. Now you can you can actually leave the legs that size if you're not trying to fit it perfectly. Even if you are, I would still if you're gonna leave the legs the way they are, I would still um, make it bigger to fit so it looks more normal. Because we're going to cut out the pieces underneath anyway. So this area right here you definitely want to fix. At least try and get it the right size. And the arms probably. I like to pull this out a little bit to make it look better. And just the overall dress, if you want it bigger, you can move that out too. You can fix the arms, or you can just cut them out later. To where it, you just have the sleeves anyway, so it won't matter. Move out the back some. 
If it's a dress that shows the shoulders, you may want to move up the shoulders. You can try and fit it to the arms if you want to look more natural. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And then for these, you'll, you may want to uh, move it up above the hand. So if you press Alt, it should select this bottom line. And then you can just pull it up. Okay, that's good for that for now. <clears throat> so we need a data transfer. Modifiers, data transfer. Click the eyedropper, click the body. Vertex data, vertex groups, generate data layers, and then apply. Then go to that, add modifier and armature. We need to unhide our armature. And click the eyedropper and the armature. So now when you move your body, it just moves too. Or whatever else. Sometimes the textures look a little weird. I can't do anything about that, sorry. You can do some extra weight painting if you need to. Cut out the body underneath that you don't need. And there you have it. And you can pose it. You may have to fix the weight paint. I guess I did delete the tail too, but that's basically it.